Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and not too long ago, Google just released their Android M developer preview or their latest iteration of Android for developer use. Now, if you're like me, you want that right now. You don't care how. But if you have a Nexus device, that's actually a possibility. Um, Google always releases for at least specific Nexus devices, usually the latest four or five, um, the developer preview so that you can flash it onto your device and start to mess around with it. So knowing that and knowing that some of you are like me and want to play with it immediately, uh, I'm going to show you how you can load the Android M developer preview on a Nexus device. All right, so this will erase your device. So be sure to back up all of your photos, contacts, data, everything before you get started. Also, this will only work on the Nexus 5, 6, 9, and the Nexus Player, simply because that's the only devices that they've released previews for. If you have a different device though, you can probably still get Android M, um, but only if you're rooted, and then if you go find a custom ROM that is based on this developer preview, um, which depending on the device, will or will not exist. If you're curious about that though, you can click on how to's on my site, look for your device and see if there's a how to root procedure. You can then do that and then head to the ROM section of the site to flash a custom ROM based on Android M. For those of us though with a Nexus device handy, one of the ones that I just mentioned, you can easily do it from here. Okay, on your device, you're gonna need to enable developer mode. So pull down the notification, tap on settings, scroll all the way down to about phone. Scroll down to build number and keep tapping that until it tells you you are a developer. You can hit back, then you'll see developer options. Click on that and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Then we're going to download the SDK tools by clicking on this link here. And click download the SDK now. Click on the EXE for Windows or use the other one for whatever OS that you have. Select download and save it to your desktop. Then we're gonna double click the EXE to install it. Hit next. It's gonna check to see if you have the JDK. If it says you don't, then it's gonna give you instructions on how to download that. So do that if it says it wasn't found. Mine says it was. Uh, I'm gonna put this in just C and Android SDK like that just to simplify things. And then hit next so make sure that that matches what I have click install and wait for that to install once that's done hit next and make sure that it starts it hit finish when that opens up you're just gonna make sure you check Android SDK tools platform tools and the latest build tools just in case and then we're also gonna check Android M and the Google USB driver at the very bottom if you don't already have it and then hit install Hit accept license and install again then while that's installing everything from the SDK, we're gonna download the version of the preview specific for our device. So in this case, I have an Nexus 5 I'm using, but obviously if you have a 6, 9, or player, click on those links instead and save that to your desktop. Then you're gonna plug your device in via USB. Next, we're gonna right click the um, developer preview that we just downloaded and hit extract here. And then we're gonna navigate to the C drive, Android SDK, platform tools, we're gonna take all of those files that we just extracted and we're gonna put them inside that folder like so. Then we're gonna to navigate to the C, Android SDK, Platform Tools folder, hold Shift on your keyboard if you're using Windows, right click anywhere in there and open the command window here. Then we're gonna type ADB devices and make sure that we get a serial number back like so, and if you do, that means the computer can see your device. Otherwise, if that doesn't show up, it means you need to reinstall the drivers somehow. Um, since mine showed up, we're gonna continue. We're gonna do ADB reboot bootloader and wait for the device to reboot. And then we're gonna type fast boot OEM unlock. And at this point, it is gonna warn you that it's going to erase everything on the phone, but if that's okay, you're gonna push volume up to select yes, and then power to actually select it. It'll erase everything. Then we're gonna type flash hyphen all dot bat and hit enter. And wait for it to flash. After that, you'll be running the Android M developer preview. Enjoy.
And there you go. You can mess around with that. Uh, be aware though that it is a developer preview, so there will be bugs and stuff like that. Like we care. Still gonna like it. Anyway, uh, if you did like that and it did help you, please thumbs up the video or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to see other videos on how to get the most out of your device slash other things that I do, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.